Mukhtar Saeed Ibrahim, accused of trying to detonate a bomb on the number 26 bus, described how their plans had changed just days after the July the 7th bombings. After 7-7, he said, he decided to make their protest against the Iraq war look more like a suicide bombing instead of just leaving the devices unattended. He told the jury, Even though I don't agree with 7-7, it got Britain and the politicians talking about their role in Iraq. What did you want to achieve? My aim was to cause maximum disruption and maximum publicity and maximum debate about the war in Iraq. I thought this was the right time to put pressure on the government by doing a fake suicide mission without killing innocent people. Does Islam permit the killing of innocent people? No, Islam forbids the killing of innocent people. There's many verses in the Quran saying you cannot kill yourself and kill innocent civilians. Mr Ibrahim said that he and Yasin Omar, pictured here at Warren Street, wanted to take positive action because demonstrations against the war in Iraq were not having the effect he wanted. He said Yasin Omar asked him, What if we do something that would stand out, carry out a demonstration that would make people think there was going to be some sort of explosion? A real explosion? No, just something like a firework, a firecracker, something that would make noise and cause panic. Are we talking about a bomb hoax? At this stage, something like fireworks. I was interested. I thought the idea was a good one. This is close to where Mr Ibrahim got off the number 26 bus on July the 21st. The court has already heard him described as a fanatical, radical Muslim. One of the prosecution witnesses who lived with him for a few months says that Mr Ibrahim talked about jihad, about fighting against the British army who were killing Muslims. But the defence has always insisted the devices that were in the rucksacks that day were never meant to explode. Mr Ibrahim, who denied training for jihad on this camping trip in Cumbria or later in Pakistan, described how he'd discovered how to make homemade explosives on the internet. He'd watched a video with Mr Omar of a man in a balaclava speaking Arabic, which they downloaded. Did this, in effect, give details of how to prepare what was to all intents and purposes a real bomb? Yes. Did you at that stage have any desire or intention to make a real bomb? No, when I saw how easy it is to make this stuff, an idea came into my head that I could use to make a fake explosive. Mr Ibrahim said that when he made the devices here at Yasin Omar's flat, he was very confident they wouldn't detonate, because when he diluted the hydrogen peroxide on the cooker and made the TATP for the detonator, he said he deliberately made them a weaker strength. Mukhtar Saeed Ibrahim was eventually arrested with another of the defendants, Ramzi Mohammed, at Mr Mohammed's flat in Delgano Gardens. He told the court that Ramzi Mohammed, Manfu Asiedu and Hussein Osman only got involved when the plans changed after July the 7th to have people carrying the devices. He told the jury he'd always intended to return to Delgano Gardens on July the 21st to inform the media that this was a fake demonstration over the plight of Muslims in Iraq. He and the five other defendants deny all the charges.